Hello, in this video we will discuss different types of OSPF networks. Guys, OSPF is a protocol in which database exchange will be different in different network types conditions. So let me give you an example. Let's say two routers are connected by an Ethernet link. So we all know that Ethernet is a multi-axis type of media on which you can connect two or more devices. Second example is two routers are connected by a serial link. So serial is a point-to-point -point link. And at last we have NBMA networks like frame relay x.25. So OSPF actually defined different network types for these different types of interface encapsulation that we have. So for broadcast network, OSPF network type is broadcast. For serial lengths, OSPF network type is point to point and for frame relay and x.25, OSPF network type is non-broadcast. So in non-broadcast network type, we always have we also have static neighbor concept. But in these two cases, neighborship is dynamic. So uh, the database process that we have discussed is very similar to point to point. But if you talk about multi-axis networks or if you talk about how database is exchanged in case of broadcast network type, that is a bit different process that we will understand in this video. So first thing is whenever we talk about a multi-axis segment in case of OSPF on that particular multi-axis segment, there will always be DR and BDR election. So let's say I have some routers, R1, R2, R3, R4, and this is my switch. So this is actually a multi-axis segment. So on this multi-axis segment, whenever you configure OSPF, there will be DR and a BDR. So first of all, we will try to understand the need. Let's say we don't have any DR, BDR concept. So all routers will form adjacency with all other routers. So let me assume from the perspective of R1. So R1 will form adjacency with R2, with R3, with R4. So how many adjacency it will form? Three. And every router will form three adjacencies. Now if I talk about database, R2 will give its database to R1, to R3 and to R4. And as we know, Whenever we receive any database from the neighbor, we always advertise same database to other neighbors. So like you can understand when R2 will forward its database to R1, it will forward the same to R3, to R4, because switch will broadcast the database. By default, that is a multicast traffic and switch will always broadcast multicast traffic. And R4 will again send back that database to R1. R3 will again send back that data database to R1. So guys, flooding of database will create a chaos in this network. So to overcome these problems, we have the concept of DR and BDR. Next, next reason why we come up with DR and BDR to reduce the number of adjacencies. So like, there are two reasons. First, to reduce database flooding. Second, to decrease the number of adjacencies. So like I have R1, I have a switch. R2, R3, R4. Now, out of these four routers, one will become DR. Forget BDR for some time. So all routers will just form adjacency with DR. Just with DR. They, they will not form any adjacency with them. They will not form any adjacency between them. They will remain in which state? Two-way state. Two-way state means they will just form neighborship. They will not exchange any database. Fine. So they will just form adjacency with DR. So whenever R3 has to exchange any database with any other router, so it will send database to DR. DR will send that database to the other routers. So in this way, we are exchanging database efficiently. And by just forming adjacency with the DR, we are also decreasing the number of adjacencies that will exist on this particular segment. So by default, how many adjacencies exist? n into n minus 1 upon 2. So these are the by default adjacencies that will exist. n are the number of routers.
So guys, uh, we are also using one particular or you can say extra multicast address in case of uh, DR and BDR. That is, normally OSPF uses 224.0.0.5 for exchanging OSPF hello packets and databases, updates, everything. But on multi-access segment in case of DR and BDR, we have one more multicast address that is 224.0.0.6. So that is the actual multicast address used by DR other routers. DR other means which are not DR, which are used by DR other router to send update to DR. Because like I told you, whenever a router will send an update, update is always multicast and multicast traffic is broadcasted by the switch. So it will be received by all the routers, but none of other routers will process it because it is sent on which address 224.0.0.6, which is only heard by or which is only received by DR. Now guys, next concept is what is BDR? BDR stands for Backup Designated Router. So BDR will take place of DR in case of DR fails. And DR BDR election is done on the basis of priority. So that's not a part here. So guys, in this video, we have understood what are the different OSPF network types and how DR BDR election will take place in case of OSPF. Thank you.